What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, a few of you have asked me lately, hey, Chris, how come you don't do anything about the trees or what looks like lakes on Mars? Now, if you go check out J.P. Skipper's work, he actually showed that. He was the forerunner uh, to showing such things, right? Now, lately, one of you folks sent me this, and this is from Robert George. He said, everyone who watches this channel, meaning mine, should look up Tom or Thomas Van Flanders' presentation on exploded planet theory. He documents numerous anomalies that are super obvious. Years ago, his presentation literally made me go from thinking NASA would never lie to being able to see the proof myself. The anomalies he shows are astonishing. And I would agree. You can look up this uh, gentleman's name, Thomas Van Flanders. Now, I took a screen grab of, of that particular video, and you see he's talking about a, a quote from Arthur C. Clarke, and it says, The recent discovery of life in the most improbable places, especially far down inside the Earth's crust, has now convinced me that we have been equally short-sighted. Some of the amazing images from the Mars Surveyor, especially, and of course it has the ID numbers, and of course I'm going to show you the ID in a minute, makes me 95% sure that there are extensive areas of vegetation, or its equivalent, on Mars. Thank you, Robert, for suggesting that. Now let's just jump right into this. All right, you can see right here it's a Mars Global Surveyor. And you can see underneath it, you can click on it right here under the photo. And it's only a 320 by 537 pixels. And you can also see up here, it says no higher resolution available. Keep in mind, this photo was taken, I think, in 1999, and it wasn't released until 2000. Hmm. Yeah, it absolutely looks like trees. But what I find interesting is that everything is super bright around the middle section of this photo. What could that possibly be? Let's just jump right into Photoshop. And you can see right here, I rotated this counterclockwise by about 90 degrees. And I'm looking at this, I'm going, okay, this is cool. This is absolutely cool. Now, I know somebody had done a comparison with uh, some kind of trees that look very similar to this on Earth and on Mars, right? So I find this really interesting. But let me show you a couple little pieces that you can find in here. And it's not the dark areas, it's the lighter areas. Look at the shapes, even though they're in the lighter areas, folks. This right here. I'm getting closer. Okay. Look at the shape of this right here. Okay. We have an area right here. Area right here. Look at the back of this. It's been cut out. And you can see that. We have, let me just back out of here a bit. We have this area here. Which I find really interesting because of the shape. Almost looks half round. Okay, we have something else above it. it. Does this here? Okay, but have a look at the shapes around it here. Some pieces in here. This right here, this whole area. Notice the square platform that this item sits on. And you can see almost like a shadow behind it. But right there, look at the size of this piece. Almost like it's got a round circle. And it's almost like it does this here on there. Do you see that? Right there. But it's not just there, folks. It's any of these white pieces that are questionable. And when I, and when I take you to the full enhancement, you'll understand why. Look at this right here. Now, keep in mind, folks, I didn't do anything to this photo. Nothing at all. Check this out. You can't go by this right here because this is just texture being put over these, right? But check that out. What does that? What is this? These up here. You'll see this here. It looks like it's rounded. It looks like it goes back like this, but then it drops almost looks like this weird periscope. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, but it looks like some kind of giant, like, stovepipe that comes off and has an L-shape uh, bend at the top at like a 90 degree, right? Now, of course, there's no way to know that for sure, but it kind of has that kind of look to it, right? This section in here. When I said this area right here, 
Look at these other L-shaped pieces right here. Keep in mind, folks, this is not clear. So this could be many objects in that one area. And when it's blurred, it almost looks like it has an L-shaped kind of shape to it, right? I just noticed this too, folks. Look at this. Remember I told you right here, almost looks like it does this. This thing actually goes out like this. Check out the faded line doing this. This is coming out like this. Almost looks like it does this. Is that natural? I don't think so. This area right here. You can see what looks like it has a nice straight edge. Looks like it's doing this. Comes down. Then in front of that, look at these. Look at the shapes of these. Right there. Okay. All right. Now, folks, that's just a few pieces. Let's just jump right into the fully enhanced and have a better look. So what I did is I brought down all the brighter areas, and I brought up the pieces that are white. Let's have a look. Check these out. Just going to circle a few. Top of the photo. This piece right here, like I showed you earlier, but check out the details inside here. I'm going to circle a few here. This whole area, check this out. In the middle, top. Just those alone, folks. That's it. This is the items I showed you earlier. Notice how this has what looks like a dark cover type thing over that. We have something right here. Half of it's white. Half of it's a darker gray. This area here. I just pointed out earlier. This now looks like it's on a higher ground right here you can see what looks like structures here right here right here okay notice the square is still there I can still see that other area right here top one and then look at the bottom folks very faint I don't believe for a moment that that's natural. I believe it's 100% artificial. Here's the area I showed you earlier. Check this out. Can't leave this out either. Just went by it. Here. Folks, there's so much in here. I'm not even going to be able to show you all of the pieces. What I'm going to let you do, as usual, is pause this. Have a look for yourself. Now, two things is going on. I've noticed that I can sometimes I can find half an item, half it, sometimes you cannot. So it's due to two things. One, manipulation, or two, maybe this had the great flood like they're saying and it washed over most of this, and all you're seeing is the actual outline of it, but because it's covered with dirt, soil, mud, whatever it may be, you're seeing the outline, but you're not seeing the brighter color. Back out a little bit. This right here. Like I said, I'm not even covering nearly enough here, folks. There's so much in here. Check this area out in between these supposed trees. Now, the reason why I say I don't know if they're trees is for this reason. Look at the way, like, it looks like the, these stop, these trees supposedly stop right here. you got this section here. It's completely flat. Okay. I'm wondering whether these things actually drop down in the center and they're more lower than the surface around them than above. We can have a look at the original. I don't know, folks. I really don't. Now, you would think because it almost shows what looks like a shadow over here. But is it? Again, right here, straight area. Back over to the enhanced. Folks, look at this. It's littered all over the ground. Look at this area closely here. The shapes, the rounder pieces. Again, like I said, right here on the left. 
you've got this area right here. I think a lot of this has been centered out. This is the reason why you see these shapes inside right here, like the duller areas. And you only see the whiter ones actually popping out a little better, as you can see. But you're not getting the full picture here, folks. That's the thing. See that? Upper left there. This whole area here, like I said earlier, what looks like it's this huge kind of like underground thing going on in there. And look at the structures right in front of it. I have to deal with the manipulation, the centering, but there it is. Stop it any way you want and have a look. We'll bring it down. Have a look at the lower areas here. Do with a different color because I know a lot of you folks don't like the red color, especially if you are in fact colorblind. Right there, we got right here. Look at this right here again. Just a couple areas, folks. There's much, much more in here. This right here, I showed you earlier and in that circle. All of this right here. And you can see here at the top. Pause it, folks. Have a look right here. This whole area folks, is littered with some kind of structures. I don't believe for a moment that these are natural. I think it's either A, intentionally being hidden, which, which is the norm, and it wouldn't surprise me, of course, they've been doing this since Apollo missions, so now that we're on Mars, they're not going to let you see everything anyway. So I believe these are manipulated and censored as well. There you go, folks. Pause it right here. Have another look. Folks, when I seen this photo, I was like, there's no way that that's natural. Now, those do look like trees. Again, those would look natural. But everything in between and around these trees, now they could say it's something else, like it's craters for all I care. And let's say they are. We can go with that. What about what's between these? Whether it's trees, craters, or whatever they want to call them. What about between them? There are too many shapes in that photo, in this area, to think that they're natural. I see what look like structures. If you look closely, you can see what looks like roads running in between all of these. You can see what look like round structures in a row, or whatever they may be. Keep in mind, this is not crystal clear. So that L-shaped area that I showed you could be multiple structures, and because it's blurred, it made it look like an L-shape, and it's nothing more than an L-shaped area full of structures. In my opinion, these are structures and nothing natural. As always, folks, I want to hear what you got to say. Drop your comments down below. Please like and share the video. It is appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. And folks, I have a couple more of these coming up. And I think you're going to find these interesting. They're not easy to find, but you can find them. So stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.